you know, we're taught there are rules and we have to follow them, but all that happens when we follow the rules is the rules happen and humanity doesn't. So a big brand needs to communicate in five continents and to be efficient has to use the same sets of codes. So as the bandwidth gets wider, the palettes become smaller. It's 256 colors and it used to be millions. And we think that there are real valleys and hills, but it's actually a really narrow band of variation. So Virgin and Starbucks and Nike and McDonald's all use very similar sets of codes. So the challenge before us, all of us, especially in education, is how to rethink this stuff, how to be dangerous again. What does it really mean to be dangerous? What does it really mean to step outside of your comfort zone? I came from a generation which believed in revolution, that the work we did could change society for the better. And then the last 10 or 20 years has said that culture is about making money, it's about commodity, it's not about risk. It's not about making people really think. It's not about the actually risking that someone would think so freely that they might not buy your product. So what does it mean to be dynamic? This is my favorite word right now, difficult. Nothing is difficult anymore. Everything is easy. It's easy to go and sit in Starbucks. It's easy to go and choose from the same menus worldwide. It's easy to go to a hotel and find the same stuff as all the other hotels. It's, culture is easy. Nothing is hard. Nothing is difficult. William Burroughs is probably my most influential writer. And his stuff is hard. It's difficult stuff. And there's nothing wrong with people having to struggle with stuff or to discuss stuff. So the challenge for us is to really be clear about who we are and is really to be able to be different and take the courage to be different and to try and to try and change the language we use you know, in other words we can use other words we, we never use words like progress I can't remember the, any, the last time someone said that something was progressive or revolutionary or that we are a service to mankind or that someone wants to be different. We're so stuck in a place of fear in a fear that we're going to lose our jobs, fear that someone that we don't know wants to kill us because we come from a different country or fear that our government is doing stuff that's corrupt and we're afraid to say something or fear that if we dress differently someone's going to judge us. You know, we're afraid to be different. We're afraid to fail. But we have to use other words. We have to use words like love. Um, we have to use the words like education in our work. So I'm going to wrap it up now, exactly one hour, ten minutes. This is my son um, carrying the torch. Um, except he supports Arsenal now, and um, so we don't agree on everything. But, you know, my, my message as we go out of all of this is just take the risk. Take the risk to think different, take the risk to be different, and I think we can create a much healthier culture. Thank you.